Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Hey guys, it is the Raw wrap up. That means it's it's Monday. It's after Raw, and it's time to wrap things up. The news was already here. Legitimately, the local news was right in front of the studio, and I forgot to start recording here locally. That's going to be uh, uh, fun to do later. But anyways, this is the Raw wrap up. Damn it, we do it live. We're on Facebook Live, and we got we got the people with us. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Uh, with you tonight, but also with us, uh, spanning the nation, we got first of all up in Poughkeepsie, New York. He's the only Mayhemer with a future endeavor letter from the WWE. He is Mad Mike. I think someone needs to check on Jen Carlin, Sorg. Oh, yeah, there was so much Dean tonight. Okay, uh, she says she's not all right. Oh, she's not all right. She's not all right. She's not I, all right. Assume, I assume that's a good not all right. As is in, is it not all right um, for not being all right, or is it not being all right for all the good reasons? I believe it's hashtag believe in the feels. Ah, yeah, I, I did that. I yeah, did that. That happened. You definitely did that. Anyways, did that. also with us from Smoky Seattle, Washington. There's some stuff going on out there. Wow. But thankfully, she was able to. Uh, find some breathable air and and clear clear. I yeah, my segue is not working. Tina Keys is with us, and I should have done much better with that. She's back with us tonight. Thank you for joining us. Hello, hello, you guys. <laughs> uh, thank you for joining us, and uh, and of course, is the Raw wrap up. It is the Raw after SummerSlam. The Raw we want to be the night after WrestleMania. But just like SummerSlam, it isn't exactly WrestleMania. This is not exactly that either. And we'll get into that, of course. Um, first of all, I, I, I th- we have to talk about that main event right off the bat here. Uh, when, like I said, Jen, Jen, Jen Carlin's not all right. A lot of Dean tonight. Like a, a full, 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 full dose of Dean. Uh, we, we got we got extra Jeans Ambrose tonight. Extra Jeans Ambrose. He got his new T-shirt too. There you go. Um. Well, we got full on Shield reunion after a great match between him and Balor, uh, Reigns yeah. and Balor. Yeah, I I feel bad that, that that's all we're gonna get from Finn. Uh, maybe, maybe, I, but he's I, in, he's I, in the mix. I, he was for the I don't night. Think he is, I don't think he is anymore. Mm-hmm. Because uh, as soon as soon as I saw he wasn't coming out as a demon, I'm like, nope, not happening. <laughs> We we've established nothing significant happens with Finn until he demons up. Yep. So Finn, not great. Demon Finn, really awesome. Uh-huh. Uh huh. What did you think, Tina, of uh, the Shield reunion we had at the end? Thwarting, thwarting, thwarting. Uh, Braun Strowman. Thwarting. It was a long day at the zoo today for me. Uh, I'm actually kind of. It, it made me to actually want it to see more, and actually made me actually want to see what happens next week but i'm actually thinking that it may be a triple turn for the shield a triple turn maybe it just it it just has the inklings of cm punk and the rock thing okay okay see here, here's my like was it a cool moment yes absolutely no question Regardless of how tired I personally am with two thirds of the shield. Okay. Two thirds of the shield. Like Dean, he came back. I want to see him refresh and be a different gimmick. Nope. We're just slotting him right back in. Roman, tired of. He needs a change. He's been cosplaying as the shield for three fucking years, and now he's still cosplaying as the shield. What this should have been, this should have happened last night. The shield beat up someone. That the crowd wanted to hate. The crowd loves Braun Strowman. They love Finn Balor. Like, I, I kind of see where Tina's saying, like, did the Shield just become heels? I don't think so, because they ain't turning Roman Reigns heel. And then uh, turn the Roman heel, especially now that we have fucking Baron Corbin in charge. I don't so know. I face I, Raw. 
I, I yeah, that's true. That's true. I I think we're getting a little bit of one. I think you get a little bit of hey, Braun's gonna try this again. So Roman called up his buddies, you know, because what was the old what was the old Shield adage was was fighting injustice when they started up, right? And this is injustice for Reigns because he finally got you know what he what he needed. Hang on a tick. <laughs> Hang on a tick. I see what you're saying. Uh huh. It, it's not injustice. It is the literal rules of Money in the Bank. They had an interview with Roman right. saying, it didn't bother me last night. It shouldn't bother me tonight. And we are talking about the two people that saved him are the two people, and this is an explanation that could be uh, uh, expounded on next week. The two people that saved them are two people who definitely took advantage of Money in the Bank rules. <laughs> yes. Like... <laughs> And then we broke Mad Mike's common sense. I also want to point this out. Dave Ponder's in the chat room. Thank you, everybody, in the chat room. Uh, Facebook Live, if you guys are joining us. Uh, Tina, you're usually in there. Uh, Billy Johnson is joining us. Dave Ponder, Jen Carlins. Um, just, just glad to see you're, you're, you're good out there. Uh, Brandon I'm, Wheels hanging out. Con- I'm glad to see she's conscious. Yes, exactly. <laughs> as soon as those call letters hit, I could hear Jen Carlin sigh from Poughkeepsie. Sigh. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a long distance, so it came off of a sigh. Anyways, Dave's saying um, that Finn used up the demon power last night. I like this idea that that whenever Finn su- summons up the demon powers, it's like the Iron Fist. He can't just Iron Fist it again. Uh, no, he needs to. He needs to or, regenerate. Or you're talking about season one of Iron Fist. Yeah, where, where they didn't know how the Iron Fist properly worked. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I don't know if I understand how much of that series it works worked. all the time yes like if you want if you uh, did you finish luke cage i did finish luke cage recently it works all the time it works all the time okay he just like he just like 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 turns it on in the middle of a i know bad gestures here um he just he just lights it up in the middle of a chinese restaurant for some reason and yeah that, um so so okay so so maybe valor isn't too uh defender season yet he's still on season one he's still figuring out his demon powers that he um fought a giant demon to which i think is canon in the comic book by the way um yeah. <laughs> something like that like like it is the, the demon balor is a real demon in like gaelic mythology mm-hmm. anyways um i think this is a fun new wrinkle with the shield and brawn because you know it, it's going to take them to kind of um um you know, push him back. Maybe they runs into uh, Hell in a Cell with them uh, as well. I, I I like, you know, it isn't just Braun came out and did the thing that we all expect them to do at Money in the Bank twice now, right? Um, and I think they're extending it out. I think in a, in an interesting way. And now it's like, okay, what is the shield? Is the shield the way that you think it's going to be? The way I think it's going to be? Um, it, it's 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 got me asking questions on where do you go from here? I think. Mostly in a positive way. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm very. All right. An- I'm very anxious about this whole shield thing. Very anxious. Because I, it bothers me on an unconscious level. Well, you know, now that Kurt Angle's on vacation and not doesn't have any obligations as general manager. He, he can be can, the fourth member of the yeah, shield. Yeah, he can come back as the fourth person, fourth member. Survivor Series, man. We're set up for Survivor Series now. Or that's in November. Yeah, I mean, you got to start sometime. No, no. Silly rabbit. Uh, we no, have no, like, no. We that's, have like, that's Thursday night we show. Like, we have like three pay-per-views before then. Yeah, but one's all women and one is in Australia. So it's upside down. It doesn't matter as much. Well, can we talk about Australia? What the fuck was that Triple H 20 minute monologue? What the shit was that? Tina, what did you think about Triple H's monologue and the retelling of, of the history of retired wrestlers? Uh, it, with Triple H, it just, it just seemed very drawn out. I mean, just kind of recapturing his glory days, I guess. I don't know. Well, I mean, that's the idea, right? Because we... You know, we need to sell this idea. See, here, here's the thing. They've already told us it's booked. Mm-hmm. We didn't need that promo. No, but I mean, you were going in cold. What did we have? John Cena. We hear how many times Triple H changes his clothes. 
What did we get? John Cena and Triple H up in uh, Saudi Arabia, right? What was that? Yeah, what, what yeah got... John Cena and Triple H. Yeah. yeah. And there was nothing going into it. And it's like, <laughs> oh, hey. We're fine. Yeah. I, I, I think they want to give a little bit more to it, right? They're two months away. Plus, also, it's a night of too many McMahons because Stephanie was out there, too. Sword, do you know how many other people could have been on Raw tonight? All those we people, could have had, all those people on main event? Women, we could have had another women's match. Listen, Kurt Hawkins got a spot uh, tonight oh, on God. Monday Night Raw. Elias, 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 when he's, Elias, not, when he's not busy shilling water. Pizza Hut to you, <laughs> had a match with Kurt Hawkins tonight on Raw. Elias is dead in the water. What He's mean? dead in the war. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> He's dead in the war. He got himself too far over, and now they have nothing for him. I, I, I'm going to roll this back. We've nothing. had this, this is the ongoing saga of our opinion, our differing opinions on whether Elias is okay right now. Uh, he, he just go to smack. <laughs> there you go. He's just <laughs> smack down right now. He just go back to NXT. I want to see, I want to see Elias versus Nakamura, violin versus guitar. Let's fucking do it. Tina, what do you think about Elias's position right now on Raw? He can use a little bit of a refresher. I'm going to say something bold, um, stemming from TakeOver. I'm wondering if Vince will actually take Velveteen Green up on his offer. Oh. Tina. Tina. That, would be a, that would be a refresher for uh, Elias. Tina, I, I'm sending you, like, whole hand hearts right <laughs> Because that that's perfect, but that's not going to happen because you're using too much creative thought. Vince doesn't know who Vince's dream is. <laughs> I, I don't think I want to hear Vince's opinion on Velveteen Dream. <laughs> I don't. Think I do. <laughs> but but man, it could it could be nice to have him the Velveteen Dream as presented on NXT on Raw, of course. Um. I will we'll we'll, I, <laughs> we'll talk about <laughs> we'll talk about we'll talk about that and and more Elias I'm sure as we go here. Um, there's some conversation I need to address in the chat room here. Um, because they're talking about Nia Jackson and Luke Gallows. This this is Raw related and it's kind of on the fringes of being the wrap up for the show tonight. Did you guys see the the uh, one day relationship between Luke Gallows and Nia Jax on Twitter? And you know what. Yeah. Some stars burn really bright, Sorg, and then they just fizzle out. That's right. <laughs> was that Tina? Yeah, I saw it. I had to like double check it. I'm like, that's trolling. <laughs> <laughs> um, I didn't know that he he had divorced in 2016. That's the part that got me. That's that was my educational point last that night makes, when I saw that. It makes me feel a lot better about seeing him at a bar in New Orleans. That makes me feel okay, a lot good, better. good. because yeah. I saw him at a bar in New Orleans. And I'm like. I thought he was married. Look, okay. look, are we all right, buddy? Hey, buddy. Yeah. Wait. Hey, do, do I need to call? Uh, do I need to call Phil? Get you back on the wagon? Is that what needs to happen? I think in my mind, like, um, I, I think uh, Carl Anderson like like talks about his hot Asian wife so much it like extended to Luke too in my yeah. head yeah. a little bit. Sure. So, anyways. <laughs> oh, geez. Thanks, guys. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, we don't get any NXT call-ups. As well. No, no NXT call-ups, at least on Raw. I don't think there's room on SmackDown. Oh. There's too much happening over there. There's no room on SmackDown. No. Um, SmackDown set up for Hell in a Cell already. I'm glad to see the B team yeah. single-handedly holding up the, the tag division on Monday Night Raw these days. Yes, singles matches. Singles, yes. Oh, wait, wait, singles matches. That's why. <laughs> Actually, no, Authors of Pain were on there. there was... No, no, a Sork, Sork. They are officially the AOP now. Wait, I, I wait, uh, no, 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 roll that back. <laughs> nope. uh, I cannot say how I officially know this, or maybe unofficially know this, but I have officially been told that they are the AOP now. Oh no, that is a, that is a true oh, fact. No. So you're just like a collection of of letters. You're not uh -huh. even like something that has some depth to it. Yep. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I... Sorry. It, it's an official, unofficial word. I mean, you know, I'm just. I'm this just, is I'm, this is my my argument. I I put to you like almost every week on this show, Mike, about how uh, WWE Raw, SmackDown, to a point, these these SummerSlam and and uh, the pay per views, like this is rolling to the lowest common denominator of wrestling fans. That I don't think they believe that the rest, the typical wrestling fan watching Monday and Tuesday nights, can 
comprehend a name like Authors of Pain or Elias having a last name. Like, this is where we're at with things right now, right? Mm-hmm. But we yeah. can... I'm still surprised Apollo got his last name back. He did get it back. Yeah, he got it back a while ago. We've had this conversation. I'm... I know we've had this yeah. yeah. Um. Anyways. Uh, there was... Okay, so we had some good moments tonight. I, I Well, we had some moments tonight. We'll disagree <laughs> on whether they're good or not. I, I'm just... I'm just keeping my my co-host in mind here um i i I feel like i feel like we had a lot of good okay no we had some sporadic good with a lot of just so so tonight i i think i think everyone's going to look at this raw with rose colored glasses because of the end with the shield yeah overall um kurt hawkins had a match on raw guys that is a highlight for me i want to point out that was, was one not of my... on Raw. Kevin Owens was not on Raw. Yeah, but he got kind of killed last night. But then again, he did fall off a cage and show up the next night. So, Sorg, I had a longer match last night. I didn't, but you know. No, no, you, you, you didn't. I, I was cooking longer than Kevin Owens was in the ring. Okay, okay, I'll give you that. Um, I'm talking entrance and leaving the arena. <laughs> Here we go with this. Ronda Rousey. Wait, wait, wait. Let's roll really back. Really we know where you're going to go with this. Wait, 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 you listen to the show. You know where Mike's going to probably go with this. Tina, how are you on the uh, Ronda Rousey bandwagon here and the uh, celebration of life of Ronda Rousey tonight? <laughs> celebration of life? Is <laughs> I think I wanted to say Life Day um, from Star Wars, but... I want to say that we saw it coming, basically. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm I'm still a bit unsure about it because out of um, with Stephanie being there, uh, she was mentioning her protege and like kind of like building up Rhonda. But when Rhonda came out, I was expecting uh, Shayna Baszler to actually come out and premiere this year mm-hmm. to kind of like be on Stephanie's side and be like be what Rhonda was supposed to be to Stephanie, I guess. Oh my god, Tina, can you move to Stanford and just write for Raw? That's such a fucking good idea. That's such a fucking good idea. Oh my god. That's amazing. Cause like everything Steph said about Rhonda applies to Shayna too. Mm-hmm. And when Rhonda comes out, Steph can be like, oh no, I wasn't talking about you. And then Shayna just appears from behind and knocks it and locks in that clutch. Oh, fuck. That's really good. That's really good. Damn it. That's really, really good. <laughs> um, Dave's th- uh, talking about uh, Nonplus uh, Sh- Sasha won the look of the night. Oh, yeah. They all looked real happy to be out there at ringside. It felt like there was a point when at, at the end when they were celebrating with her with the belt. Like, I felt like I, I looked at, like, Ember Moon. And, like, this is the look Ember Moon has when she's, like, you know, getting a picture with some kid that, that bought the exclusive, the VIP experience. It was a Mark photo. It kind of was a little bit. And why were the Bellas there? Uh, they, were, they were still around and Total Diva Bellas is coming Sorg. back. Sorg. I think I realized something that's very bad. I realized two things, actually, while we were talking. One, it's probably going to be Ronda versus Stephanie at Evolution, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Feels like it. That's very problematic. Uh, Two, I think I realized something else. Um, Did you guys happen to see what Seth Rollins was dressed as last night at SummerSlam? Noticed, yes. I I did tweet about it. Between that, him dressing Mm -hmm. as Thanos last night, and then the uh, gauntlet on Lucha Underground, I have questions. Um, I'm pretty sure that Seth used the reality gem to remake the shield. <laughs> he just <laughs> snapped his fingers and the shield came back. And, and like, and someone's just go walk up to, to Seth. Like, so you reform the shield. What did it cost you? And you see Elias fade away. Kevin Owens fade away. <laughs> <laughs> the name authors of pain fade away and Rollins just goes eh a little bit <laughs> instead of jeez 
thank you. Thank you for bringing that full circle. Which fades away. Guys, on that moment, um, Mike, how much of Raw was watchable for you tonight? Uh, uh, I'll say an hour and a half. Hour and a half. The, the, Roman, the Roman Finn match was good. The segments were fun. Uh, Triple H, you can skip that shit. <laughs> Uh, what about you, Tina? What was uh, how, how much was watchable for you tonight? I know you missed maybe the first ten minutes of this. Uh, yeah, considering it was the uh, first ten minutes, I'm gonna say again with Mike, the Triple H thing could have been a pass. Then match, then in uh, Roman match was good. I was actually kind of surprised that the uh, the New York City crowd was pretty quiet. So about an hour and fifteen. You got an hour 15? That's weird because I looked down and just read from Billy an hour 15 as well. Mm-hmm. I'm going an hour 30 as well. Yeah, I mean, when, when you have uh, Kurt Hawkins and two individual no, beat that, matches. That is, that is the, that's what I'm marking in the positive. My positive is that. Um, wow. I think, you have a low bar. I think the. A low no, bar. I'm, I, I, this is my, no, this is my, my, I'm watching Raw Bar. Um, that's the difference, and that's how I can enjoy a show like this. When I'm ready for the different theme and wrestling and, and you know, something else, I go watch Lucha Underground. I go watch NXT. I watch Raw for Raw, right? Kurt Hawkins wouldn't even be in the top five guys of main event I'd have wrestle, fight, wrestle Elias. He wouldn't be in the top five guys from main event. Nope. Jeez. Um, man, Kurt Hawkins. Poor Kurt Hawkins. He's so good. I love like Kurt Hawkins, but... Man. 140 from Sean Smith out there. Um, but uh, uh, no, that, um, I did not hate the Triple H. I was just kind of like, all right, I guess we're going with this. Uh, I did not hate the Ronda Rousey stuff. Um, I, I had my questions here and there with it. Uh, I thought I thought the main event was hot, and, and especially that going out on that. Um, I thought even, you know, coming in with, uh, with uh, Roman and everybody at the beginning. Um, I'm a little, I'm not looking forward to GM Corbin. Oh God, no! That's gonna as be a thing. I I feel like I feel like it's give him it's giving him a little too much rope. Prediction next week: Corbin versus Roman Reigns for a Universal Title. Yay! He needs to stop putting himself in matches as the GM. That's a problem I have. Unless you're Kurt Angle and Survivor Series, <laughs> but but I mean like next week on Raw, GM See, Corbin doesn't have matches. I'm telling you, Lucha Underground has it right. They have an authority figure who's just an actor. No physicality. That's the whole point of authority. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's and the nobody, entire point. And nobody gets your jokes. Um, I do. I do wonder how he's going to decorate the office from here on. He's not. Oh, oh Sorg, it's going to be terrible. <laughs> you remember WCW Road Wild? It's just going to be that exploded into an office. Oh, dude! If it's all just like leather and like. <laughs> like dude biker wear and stuff. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of into I this hope, idea. I hope he has like the cane, like um, like the cane memorial uh, mannequin head thing, but mm-hmm. it's just the rest of his hair. <laughs> uh, real quick comments, and we'll, we'll we'll roll out of here. Uh, Billy's asking why not have Zack Ryder come out instead of Hawkins because Hawkins exactly. has a shirt, and I kind of I kind of like the shirt. By the way, it was you, zero and. Sure. And then, and then, like the checks, like for but Sword, you, you cannot buy that shirt. You can't. No, that is just the shirt he made. You know what? But he got it on Raw, so if it gets you know over what? enough, they can put it up. It's the same shirt he made months ago. It's not even an accurate count. Well, you know, maybe he's wearing them on the inside afterwards. Um, GM Corbin is a disaster waiting to happen. Uh, they're calling uh, Corbin versus Angle at Hell in a Cell. No, nope. I think if that was a thing that happens, I think it would happen in Survivor Series. Um, like Team Corbin versus Team Angle, that I could see, and and Team Angle is just the Shield. Yeah. Uh, any final uh, thoughts, Tina, coming out here? Uh, no, not really. Uh, they're in Toronto next week, so it's going to be pretty interesting to see the fallout for it. Awesome. Uh, oh, oh God, Corbin's going to get torn alive in Canada. <laughs> Tina, where can people find you online? Uh, you can find me at Tina Keys on Facebook or just search me up on Twitter. Um, also, check out Defy Wrestling. We had their show a couple of weeks ago with Progress Wrestling and 321 Battle out here in Seattle. 
Awesome. And thank you for sharing those. Uh, Tina's also a big contributor in our Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook group. Um, a lot of this conversation uh, kind of moves on from there, from Raw, from SmackDown, or SmackDown SummerSlam last night, SmackDown's tomorrow, uh, and everything else. And thank you so much for being a contributor there as well. Uh, Mad Mike is Mad Mike 4883 on the Twitter, and uh, he's the uh, hashtag MM on the, t- on the Twitter account. Usually by the tone, you can tell who's it's, it's him hanging out. Yeah, if it's, it's, if it's funny, it's generally me. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm, kidding. I'm kidding. I always put the hashtag MM. Oh. And of course, at Sorgatron on the Twitter as well. I try to do hashtag Sorg mode uh, if I have a very exclusive opinion uh, going out on there. Also, please check out our friends at IndieWrestling.us. Um, this Friday or Monday, uh, we haven't. I think it's probably going to end up being Monday. We have a pretty big announcement going on over there. But in the meantime, over on Vimeo VOD, we just added a ton of new titles from Premier Championship Wrestling, Renegade Wrestling Alliance, and the International Wrestling Cartel, including the most recent Cage Fury 2018, a, uh, a great show, two cage matches, um, end of a end of a career for one of the gentlemen there, Marshall Gambino, longtime friend on the show. And uh, and a lot of other fun fun stuff. A lot of those videos. If you check out the Twitter tonight, we have uh, our our raw uh, WWE raw commercial breaks watches. I didn't catch too many cl- two minute clips on there on our Twitter, uh, YouTube, and Facebook at Indie Wrestling us we will be back 9 p.m eastern time on our facebook for wrestling mayhem show for the main show uh we will have our guests um let's see what name is he going by this week savage gentleman victor benjamin and lady frost yes that one from uh, uh wwe rock cleveland uh, a few months ago that got kicked in the head by Asuka. um will be joining us here in the studio on the show uh in conjunction with their uh, appearance this week on the black craft wrestling I pay per view, which I believe Alex Miller is coming to Pittsburgh from California to come see. Holy crap, dude! You know they're coming your way, right? But uh, looking forward to that and see what those guys have in store. The promo videos have been amazing for what they've been doing over there uh, at Blackcraft Wrestling, and uh, of course everything WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Subscribe to this so you don't miss it in podcast form on WMS Superfeed over there. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tina, for joining us. Thank you, Mad Mike. Thank you, everybody out there in the chat realm. And we'll see you next time. Until then, keep it raw. Wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Don't give up what you want. Take it back. Wait for the perfect time and attack. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at Sorgatron Media.